exactly with the advent of the halogenated ethers, halothane, in fluorine, and of course later we have the isofluorine, sevofluorine, and desfluorine. Now you have xenon. Now let us look at the physical properties of the halogenated volatile anesthetics. Well, with regard to the boiling point, desfluorine has the lowest, that is 23.5, and the vapor pressure at 20 degrees Celsius is 664. That's quite high. So that is the reason you have a specially designed vaporizer for desfluorine, which needs to be electrically or electronically heated up before being used. Unlike Sevofluorine or isofluorine, which can be switched on immediately and is ready for use. The solubility in blood, well, the bloodless partition of desfluorine is low, 0.42. I mean, it's comparable to nitrous oxide. So, the low blood gas partition coefficient means the lipophilicity of desfluorine is lower, the potency is lower, solubility is lower, and thus you have a rapid onset and offset of action. So look at the blood gas partition coefficient of the various inhalational agents. Then, as I was telling you, a low blood gas partition coefficient means a lower solubility, that means a more rapid washing, a greater anesthetic control and precision, more rapid emergence from anesthesia and potentially greater economy to more rapid recovery. Now, this picture compares the three agents, isofluorine, sevofluorine, and desfluorine. Now, when the ventilation is kept constant, so that means the arrow which is on the extreme left denotes the moment of the anesthetic agent into the lungs. That is constant because you have kept some dial setting and the fresh gas flow is maintained constant. So, ventilation is kept constant. The cardiac output is also constant 